Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. Now let's see the title of our project. Efficient algorithms for mining high utility item set from the transaction database. This is the title of our project. Now let's see the abstract. Nowadays, the high utility transaction database it's get increasing. So, so if the user need to retrieve the particular information from the transaction from the high utility transaction database it will be a tedious process in order to overcome those pro in order to overcome those process we propose an efficient algorithm called up growth that is utility pattern growth and up plus that is utility pattern growth plus algorithms those those algorithms those algorithms are pro sorry those algorithms are proposed in order to retrieve the efficient information from the transactional database in order to minimize the excess in, exi in existing system, suppose if the user need to retrieve the information from the database, it consumes loads of time and it will be the processing steps of the uh, more than our proposal. Since the high utility transaction database contains some huge quantity of records, there will be a lag in the information retrieval in the existing system in order to retrieve the information in the most efficient manner. So in our proposed system, the transaction database will be formatted into the UP based on the user criteria the transaction database formatted into a tree structure so that the values so that the, the in, so that the information can be easily accessible and also e information can be easily sorted out in a sorted out by means of the user requirement implementing these two effective algorithm we can able to reduce the execution time as well as the resource consumption of the email of the information retrieval process now let's see the data flow diagram of our project. Here user need to provide the synthetic data set which will be the high utility transactional database which will have the of fields that is attributes. After acquiring the data set from the user we need to classification data the classification of data set will be carried out by means of clustering that is based on some various factor the data set will be clustered into a various group so that we can able to identify the group uh, so that we can able to determine the values of the group becoming the data set we need to export the data set into the database after the after the data set is fed into the database it will be processed for the further process sorry after we acquire the transaction data set in the database we will be proceeding with the process the dominated item set will be find out in our for example suppose if the sales will be will not be dominated by any other sales any other product sales so as well as the least minimum product sale rate will not be dominated by any other product least minimum rate so that we need to determine the most dominant item set from the tra from the high utility transactional data set so after finding out the dominated item set we need to compare during this comparison each and every record will be compared with those so during this comparison the each and every record will be compared with the neighboring similar records to make use of utility pattern growth and as well as the utility pattern growth plus in order to effectively formulate the data set into a tree structure that structure will be formulated based on the maximum value that is the most the product with the most sale rate will be of the will be the root meaning records will be the leaf node for that in the tree structure so by formulating the transaction data set into a tree structure we can able to easily access the each and every record in the tree so that it will so that it will minimize the execution time as well as the resource consumption so every the every information that can be retrieved from the database for this tree formulation so after the formatting the tree we can able to determine the top node which will be the max which will which will be the top product with the most maximum sale rate so by doing this we can able to retrieve the efficient information from the high utility transaction data set by minimizing the execution time as well as the resource consumption now let's see the demo of the project this is the home screen of our project here we need to select the high utility transaction data set after selection of the data set we need to extract the information this automatically the information will be extracted as long as the information is fed into the database now the information in the dataset will be inserted into the database. 
these are the that is these are the information for the of the data set will be calculated after that we can able to see the data set from the data layer. these are the properties that is these are the properties of the data set that is it we can able here we calculated the total number of customers in the data set we calculated the total number of transactions that is made by the customers in the data set and we calculated the total distinct product that are available in the data set and these are the total managers who deals with the items in the data set and we calculated and here we evaluated the total profit that is gained from the data set after acquiring those values we can check the provider status that is these are the product name which is available in our database and we can able to check its status here that this is uh, this is the annual sale quantity after that we here we evaluated here we evaluated total number of pro, pro here we evaluated the total number of profit gained by this product after that we can able to determine the total number of working hours by the employees who deals with this product these are some parameters which is deals with this product name let's proceed after that we need to acquire the probability value of the data set these are the probability values by which that is the which product should be the topmost one so we need to determine the probability after acquiring the probability of the data set we need to generate the ranking method so after acquiring the probability record we can go for the ranking we can we can able to evaluate the total gaining percentage of this transaction data set as well as we can able to determine the total rank annual sale and we can able to determine the maximum customers who is deals who plays the important role in our transaction database let's show all the results so after evaluating overall process we can after evaluating the ranking process we can able to cluster the transaction database by means of ranking so after acquiring the profitable records we can able to determine we can able to determine the which product is ma is that maximum profit percentage after that we can after that we can able to determine which product will have the maximum customers then we can able to calculate the which product will have the maximum annual sale rate after that we can able to determine the product in which the maximum investment was made let's compute now we cluster the transaction database by means of various factors such as maximum profit maximum customer maximum annual rate and maximum investment let's proceed by clustering the various information that is after by clustering the various information by means of formatting tree by using the utility pattern both plus algorithm we can able to get three product with the maximum profit rate these are the top three product which is needed by the customer along with the pr profitable rate let's proceed now the okay this is the resultant of the tree uh, this is this is the resultant information of the transaction database after formatting the tree section by using the utility pattern and utility pattern growth plus algorithm this graph is used to visually represent the product which is which plays the, represent the product which have the high profitable rate as well as the high customer rate by using the utility pattern and utility pattern growth algorithm so by our professor we implemented a framework for the automation of the information retrieval from the transaction database in a most effective manner uh, by doing so we can able to minimize the execution time as well as the memory as well as the resource consumption thank you